Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode three of Photoshop Quick Tips. You know, one question I often get from folks is they want to get that old time look to their image. Well, there's a few different ways to do it in Photoshop, and I think probably the easiest way to do it is to use a texture and most often you would use a texture of an old looking piece of paper and what we're going to do is we're going to take this old looking piece of paper and we're going to blend it with this image of this bride and it's going to give it this old time image look to the shot now i'm going to do it a second time with a low key image because you actually do it slightly differently whether you have a low key image or a high key image. So we're gonna start out with the image of our bride and we're gonna go over here to our piece of paper. And what we wanna do is we wanna move this piece of paper on top of the bride. So make sure we're on the move tool. We're just gonna grab it. We're gonna pull it up to the tab that contains our bride. And I'm gonna hold the shift key in so it just drops it right in the middle. Now you can see that our piece of paper is considerably smaller than our bride. So we have to make the paper larger. So I'm going to go into free transform mode. Make sure that you're on the layer with the paper and we're going to hit command T. That's because I have a Mac. If you have a PC it's control T. Now I don't really care about scale for this so I could stretch it any way I want and just make it completely cover our bride like that. We're going to click this checkbox to accept that transformation. Now all we have to do is blend it with the bride. So we're going to go over here to the blend modes and it's going to be usually one of two that I found work pretty good. Usually either multiply or linear burn. I like linear burn a little better. She came out a little darker. And then what I often do is I will adjust the opacity of this layer. Right now it's at a hundred percent and I use the scrubby slider they call it. If you just put your cursor right over the word opacity, it turns into this little hand, and then you just click with the left mouse button and you could just dial down the opacity. And you could see I could dial it down quite a bit, but I think around 80% looks good. Now, a little add-on, if you wanna make it look a little yellow, you could put a hue a saturation adjustment layer over the top of this or you could just add that adjustment directly to this layer and to do that hit command U is in is in umbrella if you have a PC of course it's control U you're gonna click right here where it says colorize and then we're just gonna move this U more towards a yellow and maybe move saturation up a little not that much and maybe make it a little darker something like that, and then click OK. And that's how you would do it with um, a, probably a normal image to a high key image. That's the way you would do it. Now we're going to do it to this image that is more of a low key shot. So we're going to go back to our paper. We're on the Move tool, and we're going to drag that paper up to the tab that contains our gentleman in front of the dark paper. And we're going to hold the Shift key in and drop this right in the middle. Now you can see this is considerably smaller as well. So we have to adjust the size of the paper. Hit Command T or Control T. And we're going to then put it up right here in the corner. And we're just going to stretch this out. Just like that. We're going to hit the checkbox when we're all set. All right, now we did that transformation. Now we have to do a blend mode. Now last time we did either multiply or linear burn. This time we're going to do either screen or maybe linear dodge, I think it is. So we're going to do screen first. And that's what it looks like. Oh, you're looking, wow, that's horrible. Well, what we have to do now, this is where it's slightly different, is we're going to invert this layer. And to do that, simply hit Command I. Again, that's because I have a Mac. If you have a PC, you'd hit Control I. So that is that blend mode of screen. Let's go down to linear dodge. That looks identical. Let's go to linear color. Kind of like that. I like that. So we're going to go with linear color as our blend mode there. And I think I want to make it a little bit yellowed. So I'm going to hit command U to bring up the U saturation adjustment. Again, if you have a PC that's control U, we're going to click on colorize. And we're going to move our U more towards the yellows. Maybe bring saturation down a little bit. That's a little strong. I don't know about lightness. Maybe right in there. And we're going to click 
okay that's it we're done we made our images look like an old crumpled up piece of paper in this instance but of course this all really depends on what um, image you use as your texture I happen to have this crumpled up looking piece of paper and it worked out pretty well so that's it for episode three I hope that answers a lot of folks questions that wondered how to do this and you could see it's relatively easy so thank you everyone that watches my videos I truly do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon